you know, in the past I've talked about, you know, the being before the doing, that stillness, the before we actually engage. The, we talked about the pendulum, that the pendulum swings back and forth. And at that turnaround point, which lasts for zero time, for zero duration, it turns around. But in that moment, there is the maximum amount of energy for that particular system. And the same thing happens in the turnaround when we go from yin to yang or yang to yin. It is in those points of turnaround where we are able to capture the maximum amount of, of energy. And then we, we move into expressing that energy. So if we allow ourselves to, to uh, find that moment of stillness prior to the doing, and the best way to access it that I have found so far, and the best way to then learn to control your autonomic nervous system is through feeling, conscious feeling, conscious movement, so that you are not just acting out of a memory of how this ought to be done or muscle memory or whatever you actually are you're driving the bus so and in that moment if you can do that then you ha can access the maximum amount of energy that's available for that particular action so that's um uh, we're going to play with this a little bit we're going to start with um We'll do our three pillars and then start with a, a little review on one thing we covered last week with regard to the qua, because that's a, an important part of that. And then we're going to do a, a we're going to integrate some of the different parts into the Lu Jin, which we explored a few weeks ago. So we're going to go back to that and tie a few of these pieces together, but including this idea of stillness preceding the motion there, which then allows us to shift out of the uh, fight, flight, freeze response that is associated with the, the sympathetic nervous system allows us to, to just do without the freak out part. Okay, so why don't you stand up and let's, uh, let's do this. Uh, let's get our three pillars in, feel the balls of your feet. Reach with the crown of the head. We're establishing our central equilibrium. Relax your lower back and allow your coccyx to drop. Feel the polarity between your Wei Lu and your Ni Wang, Wei Lu and the coccyx. So the coccyx meets the sacrum, the D1, the crown of the head, tuck in the chin, open the jade pillow gate. So we're feeling the into that central equilibrium. We establish it, but in this very physical way, but we then move to identifying it as a thing in and of itself, which then is not dependent on the structure not being dependent on the way I'm holding my body. Relax your, your lower body, feel yourself sinking into the earth, getting spun and spiral down to the left, spiral down to the right, releasing the qua, getting very soon qua. These are unlocked. Yeah. Now reach with your elbows, arms slightly rounded. You feel the immediate surge you get in your hand when you do that. The 
by doing that, we we open the shoulder gate, the elbow gate, and it creates this up upsurge of chi throughout the whole system. The whole body mind is activated as a as a wholeness, as a coherence. Point your index fingers, feel them, and allow the whole just to become even more coherent. Okay, we're going to step forward with the right foot, but first pivot out on your left heel and then feel the ball set the knee, pick up the right foot and then step forward with that. So we're going to just do a, a brief uh, review of what we covered last week with regard to the claw, being able to release the claw and let go of any extraneous muscular tension. So allow your weight to be about 70% in the right leg and just bow forward from the hip joint and relax your butt, relax your leg. Your back is straight. Straighten up. Without, pu without pushing away from the ground, this is really important. So this is very different than say a squat where you're going down and pushing away from the earth to come back up. We are not pushing away from the earth, we're sinking down into the earth, everything is down. But here we're going to bow forward from the claw and come back up. So we're just pivoting at the at the inguinal crease where the thigh meets the, the torso. So we're bow forward again and up. Now feel the ball of the left foot, set the left knee, and pick up your right heel. So we're going to really focus on the left quad. Now we're going to bow forward from here. So notice that as we're doing this, you're still feeling the contact with the ball of the foot, still reaching with the crown of the head. And we're feeling the central equilibrium, even though the body is leaning forward. Even though my torso is, is angled forward, I'm still in central equilibrium. And back up, you can see it. I come this way and I just bow forward like this. Even though my body is angled, I'm still maintaining my center of equilibrium so that this, the energy is able to move freely as I do that. Bow forward, releasing. So as Valerie described it last, last week, the squishy baby butt. You want to have that feeling no tension in your in, in your butt as you're as you're doing this, which is requires a certain amount of reprogramming for, for a lot of us because many people can't let go of their butt tension even while they're sleeping. So come back up and bow forward and okay. So now Let's just shift feet. We'll go left foot forward now, pick up your right heel. So we're going to go forward on the left leg. Same idea here. You're bowing forward. Squishy baby butt. No buns of steel here. And up. And bow forward. And you're also not using your back to do this. Your back stays straight, but the work is not happening via the back. One more. One forward. We're releasing the claw. We're getting some claw and allowing the body to to bow forward. If we do that, maintaining the center of equilibrium, maintaining that connection, that internal power as we do that. Now feel the ball of the right foot, set the right knee, 
and sink into your right quad, pick up your left foot, and we're going to bow forward from the right foot now. On the quad, relaxing. Flatten your back as you do that so your spine stays straight. You put the crown of your head, open the jade pillow gate as you do that, bow forward. Up. One more. Yes, uh, go back to your left foot, right foot forward. And for simplicity's sake, we're going to just, just do this out of the back leg. So you're, you want that, that front leg, your right leg, to be empty as much as possible. It's going to just holding, holding space because if, it's, if you're loading up the front leg as you do that, you're going to find that you're you will probably start to tense your other hip and then that's gonna throw that off and you're gonna, you're not gonna be able to let go of the tension. So, so what we're gonna do now is we're going to do a very simple exercise. Let me turn sideways here. So you feel the ball of the, the left foot. You take a moment with that. You're establishing your center of equilibrium in this posture. You set the knee. And as you release the quad, you're going to bow forward slightly and reach with the elbows. We're coordinating the bowing with the elbows. Then that would be a big bow. And then reach out the arms. Just feel into that. Feel your elbows, feel your wrists, feel your fingers, feel your hands. Feel the ball of the left foot, set the left knee, and return to bring the straightening up. And as you do that, you reach back with your, with your elbows, and you want to feel with your hands, as if you're pulling against the air, but without any tension. You're pulling back, reaching back with the elbows. So we're creating this lujin, the rollback energy. Feel the ball, set the knee, bow forward, reach with the elbows. So unlocking the shoulders, take a moment, feel into that, and bow. So you're releasing the quad very slowly, and as you do that, you're reaching out with the hand. And feel the hands as you do that. Feel them pushing, grabbing, you know, sliding across the air as they do that, across the space as you reach out there. Feel between your shoulder blades. Feel that opening up. Reach with the elbows. Reach with the wrists. Feel that opening. Feel with your hands. Now feel as if you're grabbing onto something, a tabletop or something. Feel the ball of the left foot, set the left knee. Reach with the elbows and straighten up as you pull back. You're reaching back with those elbows and feel the the friction as your, your hands are, are feeling the space. Bow forward, feel the elbows, wrists, reach, open. 
releasing into the quad. Pause for a moment and just feel the connection between your hands and your feet. Feel the elbows. Feel your back. Return. Reach with the elbows. Feel. Feel the hands pulling on the space. Shoulders are relaxed. Now we're going to do it and what about half of that far. Feel same amount of energy goes into it. Smaller movement. The elbows. Release sink into the claw and reach out. Small movement, and come back, and just very slight movement back. And feel, feel that tugging. All knee, release the quad, reach of the elbows, bow forward, reach up slightly, and back. Now do it this time and don't move at all. Just get that feeling. Here. Feeling the ball knee claw release, reach of the elbows, but don't move. Reach your hands out, but don't move. And come back, pull back, straighten up, and don't move. Now let go of that and just feel into that without doing anything. Feel all those movements without doing any of them. Don't even imagine them, just feel them. Feel the potentiality that exists within your body mind right now. Do all those things without doing anything. Just feel into your hands, feel into your structure, feel your whole body, feel the connection there. So now we're going to do with the left foot forward. The right foot forward, right? Yeah, left foot forward. Same idea. We're doing it off the back leg. Here's the ball, set the knee. Bow forward, release from the claw, reach of the elbows. Reach for the wrists. So you're bringing your hands up. The fingers. Feel into that stillness, the potentiality. Now forward, now your elbows. Uh, let's keep the same pattern as we had before. So feel the ball, your right foot at the knee, and bow forward, feeling into that sung kwa, reach of the elbows. Feel into that, feel the connection. 
Reach from the crown of your head. Feel that. Come forward. Reach out. Turn, reach the elbows, feel your hands. Pay attention to any, any stiffness, tension in your body, and let that go as much as you can. Relax, bow, reach out. Your elbows, your fingers. Take that pull back. We can do this either way. We can do it where we're bowing, reaching out, or bowing, coming back, or we can break it down even more. But for right now, we're just as we, as we bow forward, reach to the elbows, reach the hands going out halfway. Go back. And uh, a small movement, bowing forward, reaching, turning. Now, no motion, reach, bow, but without bowing. No movement, pull, the elbow, out. And so we're, what we're doing now is we're learning to control the energy flow just with our intention. Reaching and pulling. First, we familiarize ourselves with the body, expression through the body, and then becomes more and more insubstantial. But by clearing the sympathetic nervous system, disentangling it from that fight, flight, freeze response, we're then able to move very efficiently. Now, without moving at all, just let all that go and just feel the potentiality without any movement. Without uh, even thinking about it, just feel it. And come down. Turn. In. Deep breath. Disappear the cheeks. 